Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. My name is Chris. Today we're going to be taking a look at our Moth El Cilio Pour Homme. Now our Moth El Cilio Pour Homme was released around 2016. It is from the House of Our Moth and it is an EDP concentration. You can pick this up from places like Fragrance Buy for about like 20 or $25. That's where I get all my fragrances. That's where I got this fragrance from. Fragrancebuy.ca is a super great shop. It's got tons of our moths, tons of different Middle Eastern fragrances, tons of designer fragrances. If you haven't checked it out before, I highly recommend. Great customer service, great prices, great shipping, all that kind of jazz. Even got a points reward system to it if you buy a lot of fragrances. I'll leave a coupon code down below if you never checked it out before and you want to get five bucks off your next purchase. Go check them out, fragrancebuy.ca, super great website. Now, El Cilio is a Spanish word meaning the sky. It's actually more in context of heavenly as far as I understand. You didn't think you'd get a Spanish lesson coming to a fragrance channel, did you? That's why Post Cologne is such a good channel. You should hit that subscribe button. You get Spanish lessons and you learn about fragrances. So subscribe, do that. So in terms of the presentation, this is actually one of the nicer bottles, in my opinion, from our moth. We all know our moth can have some pretty wild, crazy looking bottles that are borderline ugly and tacky, depending on who you ask. This one's actually quite nice. It's quite a beautiful design. I really like that kind of wave pattern, that kind of, you know, different kind of blues. The juice itself is kind of a light blue and really well put together. I really enjoy the look of this bottle. It is a cheap plastic though. It is an Armoff, so it's got that kind of cheap plastic top to it. The cap itself, a little bit of a cheap plastic, not a little bit, it is a cheap plastic. Feels like if I crush this with my hand a little too hard, I'm gonna break it. So you're gonna get what you pay for. It's a 20, $25 fragrance, as I mentioned, it is an Armoff, but the cap does snap in place quite nice. And if you're careful enough with this bottle, it'll, it'll stay together, but don't be too rough with it because it feels like some of this will actually fall apart. But Great looking at least, you know, despite the quality. The atomizer on this is quite quality though. It does get a decent spray out of that. It goes fairly far, nice wide spray. Oh man. And I absolutely love this fragrance. This is such a great summer fragrance. It's a fresh, fruity, slightly spicy aquatic style fragrance. Performs excellent in the heat. I've been wearing this for the last few days and it's been very hot out and it does great in the sun. I really enjoy this fragrance. It's got this opening of this melon and this apple with a ni like that nice sweet kind of fruity fragrance to it. And it's got a mix of some citrus in there, like some bergamot and some lemon that balances out quite nice. And you get a little bit of cypress that comes out in the initial blast that adds a little bit of sharpness to it in terms of spiciness, but not too much. It's that, that fruity, fresh feeling is quite there, but it has a little tint of uh, that cypress in there that balances it out quite nice. It's a really great opening to this. Once it kind of dries down a little bit more, you get more of that lavender, that fresh, clean lavender with some violet mixed in there. And as it dries down, you get more of kind of some vanilla and some woodsy cedars kind of working its way in there. But it maintains that kind of fruity freshness to it with that little bit of aquatics to it throughout the entire life of the fragrance. It's a beautiful scent profile. I find it very well balanced and it's just a perfect summer fragrance. I find this just to be fresh and light and soft and got kind of that watery aquatic feel to it. It's just a beautifully blended fragrance in my opinion. I enjoy this. I wear this quite often. It's part of my regular rotation. Big, big fan of this. Really enjoy that scent profile. Now in terms of performance, this actually performs above average on my skin. I get about six to eight hours and for like a fresh summer fragrance, that's pretty good. Uh, it, sillage wise, it's about two hours worth of projection. It does, it's not a beast mode, it's not gonna blast out an entire room like a Rosasi Hawass would if you overspray, but it does give a decent scent bubble and it does last a decent amount of time. Like I said, especially for kind of a fresh aquatic fragrance. So performance on this above average for the price you pay, definitely worth it. I'm super happy with how this performs off my skin. So definitely worth checking out in my opinion. Now with that kind of fresh, sweet, fruity, aquatic vibe to this. This has got some comparisons to some other fragrances. I've seen people mention La Mal, I've seen people mention Versace Arrows, and I've especially seen people mention Invictus Aqua. I'd say it's probably closer to Invictus Aqua than the other two, but it's definitely in the neighborhood with that, that fruity sweetness that it has to it. I don't think this is a direct clone necessarily. I'm not sure if our moth directly went out and said we're gonna copy Invictus Aqua. It does have that vibe. Like I said, it's got that kind of fresh, fruity, aquatics kind of theme to it. Um, but again, I think there is some differences between that and Invictus Aqua. 
If it did try and attempt to, to clone it, it fell a little bit short in my opinion. I had my nose on my Mont Blanc Legend Spirit the other day just to see how these two compared side to side as well. I'd say again, those two have some definite parallels, slight differences or whatever. So and everybody knows Mont Blanc Legend Spirits is supposed to be kind of a dupe of Invictus Aqua. So definitely in that neighborhood, I think this is a standalone fragrance, but if you enjoy Invictus Aqua or you like that kind of fresh, sweet, fruity vibe with some aquatics in it, you're definitely gonna like El Celio. This is right in that neighborhood. This will be right up your alley. I would suggest getting your nose on it. And for 20 or 25 bucks, this is a steal of a deal at places like Fragrance Buy. I'd highly suggest picking up a bottle, adding it to your collection. I'm super stoked that I got it in my collection and it's one of my, my reaches throughout the summer. So I'm always going to this. This is just a great summer fragrance. So if you can't tell already, I really love El Celio from Armagh. I think this is a brilliant summer fragrance. I think it's just balanced out so nice. It's very light, very soft, very aquatic uh, with that fresh fruity sweetness to it mixed with some of that citrus and some of those spices from some of those woods. I think it's just a very well-rounded summer fragrance. It's not very challenging. Again, it doesn't push out and become cloying in the summer heat. I think it just balances out very, very well performs great and it's just just a great fragrance. I, I think this is definitely worth checking out. If you enjoy scent profiles that have that kind of fresh fruity aquatic flavor to them, definitely go check this out at places like Fragrance Buy, 20 or 25 bucks. This is definitely worth your money. If you do like those scent profiles, I suggest picking that up. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you next time.